one, get rid of the ego, move toward love, compassion. I mean, see, it's all there. It explains all those things. Why C has to be constant and why, probability, why particles are probability distributions. Well, physicists right now are worried over the interpretation of that. How do you interpret that these particles are probability distributions? There is no interpretation. They're just probability distributions. That's the way reality works. Everything is a probability distribution until the measurement's made. Our whole reality works that way. Uh, the purpose of your existence, what's important, what's not, how people can know things that they shouldn't be able to know, all these psi experiments like Radin's experiment, uh, how people know the unknowable, reincarnation, what happens after you die, how personal psi experiences work, paranormal information, you know, we're all netted, it's all in these databases, past, present, and future, precognitive dreams, you're just getting things out of the future database, healing, you're modifying the probabilities, remote viewing, you're either, you take, if it's a remote viewing around in this reality, you're just getting data out of the databases. When you see auras, you know, I've seen auras for probably 30 years, it's just data. You can define that output however you want. You're just getting, you're connecting to the database and getting data. The aura is just a metaphor. It's a visual metaphor for the data. Um, so, the failure of science to find consciousness in the brain or to limit the effects of consciousness, well, it's because it's not consciousness. We finally answered Fredkin's, Fredkin's big question. He said, other. It's in other, and we don't know what that is. Well, Dr. Fredkin, <coughs> consciousness is the computer, you see. Consciousness is the computer. Okay, now that uh, gets you now to the point that I was at when I first came out to see Bob Monroe all those years ago. When I came out to see Bob Monroe, my thought was, is this guy nuts or what? <laughs> well, you have to be thinking that because unless you have extensive experience within the larger consciousness system, you really have to have that question and that attitude. You have to be skeptical as well as open-minded, okay? Consistency is strong among people who have experienced. You know, you go back and look at Lao Tzu, who started Taoism, and uh, he expressed his understanding of reality. And it's obvious that Lao Tzu understood reality at a very deep level, but the best he could do was write in poetry. Now, my conclusions agree with his conclusions. The difference between my big toe and Lao Tzu's big toe is that his was poetry minus science. It's all logical and it derives from the ground up and it explains all the data. So far we've not found any data or anything that we could not explain this way and we are looking for things that we cannot explain. Okay, um, the last thing that I'd like to leave you with is that truth, big truth, cannot be your truth until it's your experience. What you have to do is find out. And if I give you nothing else, I'd like to give you a spark of, of uh, ambition and interest and gumption to get out there and find out. It's not as hard as you think. That's it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.